Now, this is a, it's some interesting work from Stanley Hazen in the Cleveland Clinic Department of Cardiology, where he was looking at the microbiome of omnivores. Omnivores eat all these animal products that you see listed here, which contain lecithin and carnitine. And he found that, that uh, omnivores contain bacteria which are capable of metabolizing carnitine and lecithin into TMA, trimethylamine. And trimethylamine is rapidly oxidized in your body by the liver to trimethylamine oxide. And Stanley Hazen found that, San, uh, that uh, trimethylamine oxide is deleterious to your vascular system. But he also found, which was quite profound, that when he tested persons who were totally plant-based with, with, say, a lamb chop, and then checked their blood, no TMAO. Apparently, persons who are totally plant-based do not contain bacteria in their microbiome that is capable of metabolizing lecithin and carnitine to TMAO. Another absolutely profound reason for thinking of the, of the importance of having whole food plant-based nutrition. Uh, this summarizes it in the sense, you start on the left with lecithin and carnitine metabolized by gut bacteria in the omnivore to, as we see next, TMAO, which is adversely affecting your blood vessels. Now, we take a minute. This is a, a bit of a blow from heart disease with one slide in this presentation. And the reason I put it in to me, it was such a profound moment in 2015 when the World Health Organization, just imagine it, persons from multiple countries all over the globe got together and agreed that consumption of red and processed meat had the same level of carcinogenicity as smoking cigarettes. Pretty exciting moment. All right, what are you going to eat? All those uh, persons are gonna have whole grains for your cereal, bread, pasta, rolls, and bagels. 101 different types of legumes, lentils, and beans. All these marvelous red, yellow, and green leafy vegetables and some fruit. Now I should mention that I did make a fairly profound uh, change in the program about a decade ago that I wanna share with you now. And that is, the change came about through a recognition of the fact that the endothelial production of nitric oxide is age-dependent, age-dependent. So you never heard of a boy or a girl at age eight dying from a heart attack. No, they have nitric oxide coming out of their ears. And by the time they're beautifully healthy at age 50, they now have 50% of the nitric oxide they had when they were age 25, and by the time you're 80, you've lost 70%. So the changes that I made were two. One was a greater stimulation of the endothelial production of nitric oxide. And number two, we embraced the newer research that shows us that mankind has an alternate pathway for making additional nitric oxide. So here we go. I deem that patient with heart disease to chew six times a day, a green leafy vegetable that is roughly the size of one third uh, of a cup after it has first been steamed or boiled five and a half to six minutes. And then you must anoint it with several drops of a delightful balsamic or rice vinegar. Why? Because research has shown us that the acetic acid from those vinegars can restore the nitric oxide synthase enzyme, which is contained within the endothelial cell and responsible for making nitric oxide. So you're gonna chew this alongside your breakfast cereal, again as a mid-morning snack, again with your lunch and sandwich, that's three, mid-afternoon, four, dinner time, five, and of course I adore it when you have that evening snack of arugula or kale. Now, the second benefit from chewing the green leafy vegetable, it restores the capacity of your bone marrow to once again make the endothelial progenitor cell, which is capable of replacing your senescent injured 
worn out endothelial cells. Now the third benefit, when you're chewing a green leafy vegetable, you are chewing a green nitrate. As you chew the nitrate, it is going to mix with the facultative anaerobic bacteria that reside in the crypts and grooves of your tongue. Those bacteria are going to reduce the nitrate you've been chewing to a nitrite. And when you swallow the nitrite, it is your own gastric acid, which is going to further reduce the nitrite to more nitric oxide, which can enter your nitric oxide pool. So think about it. What you're doing for minimal expense and no side effects all day long, morning to night, dawn to dusk, you are absolutely restoring nitric oxide, the very molecule, the deficiency of which gave you this disease in the first place. Now, there's a caveat to this. Toothpaste with fluoride, public drinking water with fluoride, and mouthwash will injure the beneficial bacteria in your mouth, and I do not like antacids because antacids will reduce your gastric acidity, and you will be unable to reduce the nitrite to more nitric oxide. Ah, no oil! I should mention the top six vegetables were kale, Swiss chard, spinach, arugula, beet greens, and beets. Now, going back to that original group, this is their lipids during the study. And you can see the key here was with the LDL was kept down around 80. And interestingly enough, they all kept their cholesterol under 150. Now, I want to share with you at this time a few uh, angiograms of disease reversal. These were all reviewed in the Cleveland Clinic Angiography Core Laboratory by senior technicians that do this all day long for national medical trials. So when I give you a percentage of reversal, I know that it's accurate. This happens to be a 67-year-old uh, retired pediatrician. You're looking at the left anterior descending coronary artery. And from the arrow on the left to the arrow on the right, it was described as a 10% improvement. Now, that's about as small as the naked eye can see. So a little easier on the next one. This happens to be a 58-year-old factory worker where you're looking at the uh, circumflex artery to the back of the heart. And from the arrow on the left to the arrow on the right was described as a 20% improvement. Now, uh, this happened to be a 54-year-old uh, security guard, and you're looking here at the right coronary artery. And from the arrow on the left to the arrow on the right, the improvement was described as 